Hey everyone, Denise here from So Limitless and in today's video I just want to run through some of the goals that I have for the channel this year so let's get started. First of all, Happy New Year to everyone out there. Welcome back to the channel if you are returning. If you're new here then hi my name is Denise and I've got some notes that I want to just go through and tell you what I want to do this year 2024 for the channel. So um, first of all is the first thing I wrote down is more thoughtful projects and since I primarily sew for myself I want to really go and make those things that I am most interested in and that I will really get the most use out of. So that not only involves the style of the garments but the fit as well because I'm always working on improving how to get a better fit of something but also color choices that kind of thing based on what I already have for example in my um, in my closet so that thought process will allow me to do more mixing and matching and uh, get more use I think out of the things that I do make because my feeling is if you're going to spend the time to actually sew your wardrobe or sew pieces for your wardrobe, you might as well get the most use out of them as you can. So that is the first thing that I wrote down, more thoughtful projects. The next thing I wrote down is to take my time. I am really not on any kind of time schedule. I'm at home all the time, basically. So. I don't really need to be on a schedule or try to get things done or have a new project every week. Uh, that at one time that pretty much was what I was working towards, but that's not the case anymore. So I really want to take my time more, enjoy the process a bit more. I think the sewing process and the planning process too, because sometimes I get more out of the planning than the actual sewing. So I want to spend more time per garment if it's, ne if it's needed. I mean, a t-shirt, I can do those in a few, uh, few hours, but uh, just taking more time or taking my time in uh, working through a garment. So that's the next thing I wrote on my list. Now, the next thing I wrote is um, showing you your the viewers here showing you all more of my process and by that I mean uh, picking out the pattern and fabrics or matching the patterns and the fabrics putting those together and maybe explaining a little bit of why I chose what I chose um, this is something that I will try to do more of but it's something that if you all are interested in that please leave a comment down below just to see what the process is that I go through and that actually might help some of you in determining how you want to match up a um, a pattern and a fabric together because if you have ever made something from the wrong fabric trust me um, I have if you've ever made something from the wrong fabric you know that even though it could be perfectly sewn but it's just not quite right it's always disappointing so I just want to go through more of that and and that process that I go through and show share that with you so that you can see what I'm doing and why some more of the why behind it so that's that's another thing on my list another thing that I'm really interested in is more styling of my garments I have not really focused on that very often I've always been more focused previously on the making of the garment and, you know, um, trying to make sure I get it right rather than now that it's done, what am I going to do with it? So I think that's important as well, especially since I want these pieces to be able to work with things that are already in my wardrobe, in my closet that, um, you know, it just stretches your capabilities in order to be able to style something a certain way or to try something different, you know, style things, go against the fashion rules, whatever. 
but I want to try to do more of that styling aspect. I always admire those who that's actually the first thing that they think about when they are planning a project. How are they going to style it? So it, that's never been something that I've actually thought about. So I want to be more intentional about that this time around. So that is something that's important to me is how I'm going to style and wear the garment. And lastly, as I have mentioned before, I want to do the occasional series of back to basics sewing. And those are going to be things, trust me, they will not be fancy. <laughs> they will not be fancy things. Um, I'm actually looking for some fabric because I, it's important for me to use my, do my fabric stash. I'm doing that for this month at least. Um, I want to make a turtleneck and it's something that I actually need, but I'm looking for some fabric right now. I've, I know what pattern I want to use. It'll be the Trudy turtleneck. I believe that's wardrobe by me. I love that pattern. I've used it before, but I want to find some fabric. So that is something that is going to be a basic, for example. T-shirts are basics. Uh, certain patterns that I have are, as I said, basics for me, and that's what I want to go through. And hopefully I can bring you into that process more, um, why I need whatever or how I put it together. So that is the idea behind that. But I think we all need those basics. And sometimes, especially when those new patterns come out, because it'll be springtime before you know it, when those new patterns come out, everybody wants to run and get those new patterns. But I mean, there's only so much new that you're going to find. And if you've got a huge pattern collection, like couple hundred patterns or some of you probably have more than that you pretty much have everything or you have those basic patterns and you can add a pocket you can add buttons whatever so I think that will actually make you more creative if you're using what you already have so that is my goal for my back to basics sewing occasional series that I'll be doing. But um, so that is also still on the uh, agenda for 2024. So basically friends, that is it for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to do a quick video to welcome you into 2024. Welcome you back to the channel. If, like I said, if you're returning and introduce myself to those of you who might be new here. Uh, but this is the kind of sewing that I do. And I've got a plethora of patterns and fabric that I want to go through. I know uh, there is the January in particular is focused on uh, fabric and pattern stash busting. So that is my goal for January and probably February as well or most of the year. So those are the things that I'm personally going to be working on. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your goals are if you have sewing goals for this year. But I thank you all for watching. I appreciate your time. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a new upload. But I thank you and take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.